Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some junk journal kits to share with you that will be in my Etsy shop at the release of this video. I had such a fantastic response to the last couple of times I've done this. I was anxious to get some more up. I had so many messages and emails and everything that I was anxious to get another set of them up in the shop before I get started on my video. I'm super excited to start filming tonight. It's Friday, long weekend, Labor Day weekend. Hopefully I'll get a lot of filming done. So yes, I'm very excited. But I have quite a few of these kits, so I should just jump into it. These are very similar to the last couple of kit releases that I've had. Not my monthly collections, but just junk journal kits that I've released in my shop. Those were nature themed. These are more of a children storybook theme. They're built very similar to the last kits. There is a vintage book. There are about 40 book pages inside the cover and there are over 60 pieces of ephemera. That is in the deluxe kit. I also made a few that are half that size that would be at a cheaper price point, and I'll be sharing those with you guys as well. I also haven't finished binding them and putting them together because it's easier for me to share them with you, and then I can just finish them up on camera. I really wanted the kits to be something that could be for a boy or a girl or both. So if you have boys and girls, I wanted these kits to be something that would work for both sexes. So anyway, getting into it, let me just share with you what is in the kit. Like I said, there are about 40 pieces of paper and about 60 pieces of ephemera. So I will just start sharing them. This is cut off of an old quilt that has been handmade by someone. It is crocheted and excuse my cat. Her feeder is about to go off in about 15 minutes and she just starts begging me anyway. The whole point of the feeder is that she won't beg. <laughs> anyway, all right. So yeah, sorry about her in the background. I just thought this was a beautiful granny square. You could add it to the cover, or maybe make a closure with it. There is about six inches of this vintage trim here with these roosters and there's a bunny rabbit in there. I thought that definitely looked storybook-ish. There is 12 inches of this ruffle made out of this beautiful fabric. This is a vintage fabric and it's not bark cloth, but it's heavy like that. It's just really fun and I thought, you know, that was a great ruffle there. There's this cut piece of doily here. I love these shapes. Again, it would be awesome to use together on the cover. You could cut it apart and use it somewhere in the journal. There's, this is about six by six piece of vintage fabric and it has some of that black yarn <laughs> lint on there so I apologize for that but this is a piece of vintage fabric and then there is this doily cut apart here so each of the journals are going to come with the book block because these are just fabulous the story is all intact there is one book that has some pages missing I'll point that out when we get to it. But there's just some fabulous illustrations and then you can use the book pages, you know, to create your journal. This is Penrod and Sam. It just has this, isn't the cover great? You could embellish it or use it as is, which is what I think is so fun about these books. And this book is copyright. I just looked up these Roman numerals and it says 1914. I don't think the book is that old. Maybe that's when the story was written. Maybe the book is that old. I don't know, but I don't think so. <laughs> Most of these books do have some general wear to the cover. They were loved, but they definitely will make fabulous junk journal covers. All right, so getting into this set. There are three signatures that I've just folded and put together of pages and book pages and I've added all the ephemera for those of you just tuning in to these kits. This is the first little set that I put together. This is the Magical Forest paper line that's new from Crate Paper. So then getting in here there are a lot of vintage book pages clipped in throughout that were smaller. This is a sample of wallpaper. I've used in most of them this sample of wallpaper and it folds out. You get quite a big section of wallpaper to play with. And then ephemera clipped throughout. So there's an inventory tag. There's a vintage math book page in here. 
This is an old graph paper that I picked up from a school teacher's garage sale years ago. There is a polka dot bag. This is a vintage children's dictionary book page. A lot of these books in here are like from the 50s and 60s. There's some that are like from the 80s, but most of them are from the 50s and 60s. This is from the 60s. Playing card of a little boy and some puppies, an old envelope, a piece of dyed paper here that I've machine stitched on, a Spanish flash card, little cut apart from one of the pages in here. This is a vintage book page with just a bunch of activities. This one was about tracing letters, an old ledger paper, a coloring book sheet, a vintage Uno score card. This is a large sheet of ledger. I have it all clipped together here, but it opens and you have a lot of paper to work with there. Has a little jeweler's envelope clipped here, a seed envelope, a little price tag, a children's dictionary book page. This is a piece of vintage ephemera. This is an envelope, just the envelope, but it still has the stamp on it from 1955. I think these are so much fun. This is a bingo card that again, is for learning Spanish. And then I've just clipped another vintage book page to the back. And these are very old school books, you guys. So there is some aging and fingerprints and things on them, but the illustrations are so fabulous. So then moving backwards, there's a triangular flashcard, a library pocket and card you can use in your journal. Or if you break it all up and use it, just keep it in your stash. There's a lot of great things in here. A guest check, the other side of that coloring sheet, a vintage arcade ticket, the other side of that letter, a little bingo paper there, a vintage coin roll, a vintage flash card. Here's that children's graph paper again, and then there's just an old Rolodex card, and then a nature scene. I think it's like a tree or something, an old slide. These would be so much fun to embellish and take apart. A children's poetry book on the other side of that star wrapping paper, and that is the first little bundle. And then the second bundle, again, a page out of that magical forest paper line. This one's just folded up and clipped into a pocket. There's an old, I think that's a science book, a claim check. This is not a child's book page, but I thought they were so much fun. This is an old calendar page from 97, and it was called like the Cowpoke Cartoons. It's more adult humor-ish but I really liked all the graphics and the ropes and all of the cowboy themed. And of course the calendar is just fun in and of itself. So I added that in here. This is just a large laminated flash card. And this is an old seal that actually belonged to my grandparents. Back in the day, they used it in their business, just a little like you wet and seal for overdue bills. I just think they're so much fun a children's piano book, that graph paper again, and this is a flashcard for idioms, a large guest check. This is that book, 261 Handcrafts and Fun. So there's just a book with some little arts and crafts in there, some old letter practice paper, another vintage dictionary page, a mini CD case, a miniature flashcard on some gold parchment paper, another flashcard, a crypto score pad paper, a piece of blue dyed paper there, another dictionary page, and an airmail envelope. Moving backwards, there's a little inventory tag, a first edition, that's not what it's called, What's it called <laughs> when the stamp comes out? But anyway, this is a vintage envelope with a vintage stamp on it. This is a create a story, you know, just tell an imaginative story with a picture type flashcard. 
a letter flashcard, dictionary, letter, moving backwards, another one of those seals, a poetry book page, a vintage Yahtzee score sheet, the other side of that calendar, and then another vintage textbook page. And that's the second grouping. And then here, there's a few other book pages here, some more vintage book pages that I, they were a medium sized book page, so I didn't want to fold it in half. I just put it inside the book. This is a, this is an old spelling book. And then an old music book page. And then here in the third signature, another vintage book page. These are so pretty. Another page of that magical forest, scrapbook line, a glassine envelope, another little Norman Rockwell card there, another vintage book page. This is some vintage wrapping paper, another vintage flash card, an old bingo card, a little doily on some pink dyed paper, a vintage bridge score sheet, practice paper, an old typing book, book page. Some of these have some old greeting cards and I just love this. I tried to put things from all the seasons in these books, you know, if you were gonna use it throughout the year, but this little autumn greeting card is so pretty. Clipped onto some gold parchment paper. There's also just a little vintage airmail envelope in here. It's an empty envelope. There's no letter or anything, but there are some great stamps. This one, I can't read the date, but most of them are from the 40s and 50s. Another little cut of that scrap paper, another coloring page, a little coin envelope, an old playing card here, and then some vintage swimming tickets, an old dictionary page. This isn't old, but this is a letter practice paper on where to go and where to stop. And I just love that. I think it's fun. There's a old little game card in here. A little piece of play money, another book page. This was an old English book. And then moving backwards, a United States flashcard there, another old slide, an old Rolodex card price tag, split score sheet, a layaway tag, a guest check, and a time card on that old wrapping paper. This is a vintage seed packet, a little manila tag, and an old envelope again. Okay, and that is all of the pages in this set. They are all very similar, but I will flip through them quickly so that you can see everything that is included in each one. And hopefully this video won't take forever. I'm not going to be the one to Tyvek this, <laughs> this spine only because I don't want to cover up some of this imagery if you should purchase one of these journal kits and you decide that you want to cut the cover apart and create your own spine and you don't want to cover this up but i am going to include a piece of tyvek i'll include something that does fit in the spine and then all you have to do is glue it in and it'll strengthen your spine so i will include a piece of tyvek with these but i will not be gluing it in in case you decide you want to do something different with it I actually think I forgot to talk about this. This is an old stained up vintage clothespin here and I've just wrapped, oh, about 20 inches of a strip of this torn vintage fabric. I really like the brown florals there and there's about 12 inches of this old eyelet trim here. And then I've just clipped some old buttons on here with some garment pins.
All right, and this string is really just to hold everything in place. I don't know, I just find it helpful. Of course, I made it just a little too short. These are also going to be mailed in a medium flat rate priority box, just so you know. I find that it is the best way to protect it. And then for a closure on this, I just have this great white linen strip. The nice thing about linen is you can dye it whatever color you want. <laughs> you can tea stain it, coffee stain it, and it would just make a great closure. You... And I'm just going to garment pin that little granny square to closure tie, and there you go. That is Penrod and Sam. And as I flip through the rest of these, unless I have something to say, since they're all so similar, I'm just going to do a quick flip through so you can get an idea of what is in each set. And that is the Daniel Boone kit. The next book is Little Men. Again, it has the entire book block. And then all of these little pieces are the same, except this is the color of the granny square. The vintage wrapping paper in this kit. This calendar is actually from 2007.
and that is Little Men. This next kit is made from the Grimm's Fairy Tales book. It's the book block. The only difference with this one is it does not have that rooster trim. It has this vintage flower trim here. And you guys, like I mentioned, these books were well loved. <laughs> so the covers are marked up like they've been read and used over the years. And this one is Grimm's Fairy Tale. And I also forgot, you guys, I'm sticking this playing card here of the little kids going back to school just here in the cover of each kit. All right, and I think you guys get the idea of what the pages are like in the books. I'm not going to continue flipping through each one of them. This one is Gulliver's Travels. And the only thing different with this one, I used an owl scrapbook paper line. This was from the Hoot scrapbook paper. I have kids riding around the block here, you guys. So, But yes, the scrapbook papers are owl related. This one does have a little book label here in the front. This book belonged to Peter Hansen. <laughs> And this is Gulliver's Travels. So this kit is called The Heart of a Dog. And I didn't read through it or anything, but is it Lassie? I don't know. <laughs> but I thought that was a really pretty cover. I love the colors. And again, I won't flip through it all, but these are the papers. And then this time on this cover, I used a piece of this fabric that I used as a torn ribbon around most of the clothespins. And I used the orange this time as a ribbon here. This is the trim that I included with this one. And 
And that one is The Heart of a Dog. King Arthur and His Knights. Scrapbook papers. Another book that belonged to Peter Hansen. <laughs> Right, King Arthur and his knights. This book was called The Family Treasury of Children's Stories, book three. And you guys, <laughs> it is worn and yeah, has some markings on it. This one was a library book copy. And you can see here, it still has this little library paper here. And it still has the library card in it from 1970 was the last time that was checked out. I love that. And then here you can get an idea of the scrapbook papers. All right, and there is that one. All right, you guys, one more in this deluxe size. This one is a little different, not too different, just a little. This was the Little Women book. Yeah, I tried to pick things that were a little more girly. So the scrapbook paper line that I used is one that I had picked up at Tuesday morning. There's this really pretty shabby print there. And then this one has some bows. So this one still has a lot of general things in it, but I did try to pick out some of the papers. Oh, and the wallpaper, let me show you that. That was a little different as well. I wanted the florals. And then here on the cover, the six by six square of fabric. This is, oh, a piece of fabric. I think it's from the 80s but I really love that pink and blue, very shabby. Same doily. This is the six inch trim that I included with this one. The granny square is pink. And also this piece of vintage fabric that I had is what I created a little fabric ribbon with. All right, and that is The Little Women. All right, so then there are the smaller sets. I have five of these. They're going to be half price compared to the deluxe set because there are 20 pages instead of 40 and 30 pieces of ephemera instead of the 60. This one will actually be discounted a little more because let me show you why. <laughs> this one was a little more damaged and when I cut the book block out, I actually did cut the spine of this Tom Sawyer book. So you can still Tyvek this if you want to use it as a whole cover. Tyvek will hold it in place. You could add some kind of fabric. If I were creating a journal out of this myself, I would make some kind of fabric band that goes right, you know, over this area to help 
hold that in place and enforce it. I didn't want to skip out on this kit because everything in it is still wonderful for junk journaling. If you make journals, you know this is something that you can deal with or you can just get rid of that whole spine and create your own spine. So let me just show you what is included in the half size. It's pretty much all the same things, just only half of them. That calendar is still in here. Vintage envelope, first edition, whatever those are called, <laughs> stamped envelopes. Still has a lot of the vintage ephemera in here. Couple more book pages. And then a second signature piece, that wallpaper, more book pages. This one has a Valentine. This is an old set of current children's cards. The box was brand new when I found it and it was copyrighted 1984. So these are from the 80s. I love them. Vintage wrapping paper again. That vintage envelope. Sorry about the lawnmower if you guys can hear it. I've literally been waiting all day to film this video and it's been one neighbor after another <laughs> mowing their lawn. I guess it's because we're moving into the weekend and it's almost dusk. So hopefully that means they're almost done <laughs> and hopefully it isn't coming through too loudly. So yes, this is the Tom Sawyer cover. It has that six by six fabric and you guys just know this black lint is definitely off of this crocheted piece here. It doesn't matter how many times I wipe it off. And that is the discounted Tom Sawyer set. And then we have Huckleberry Finn. These are the papers included here. Again, again, another book from the Peter Hansen Personal Library. <laughs> the Huckleberry Finn kit. Three more, you guys. This is Treasure Island. Here are the scrapbook papers here. and Treasure Island. This book is Davy Crockett. Scrapbook papers. Here again, I used this piece of fabric 
for the fabric square. And so I used that orange piece of fabric there for that torn ribbon. All right, and that is Daisy Crockett. And last but definitely not least is The Wizard of Oz. I love this one, but it has taken a little bit of abuse over the years. There's a little bit of handwriting practice there on the upper cover, but hey, I think that just gives it a little more character. Again, I apologize for the mower, guys. Oh, goodness. Here is the scrapbook paper again from Magical Forest. And then, like the Little Women, I really liked this floral fabric, so I wanted to use that one more time. And then I used this vintage floral fabric as the fabric ribbon. And again, this pink trim. And that is The Wizard of Oz. All right, you guys, that felt like a lot. Hopefully I can really edit this video down to only share the important aspects of these kits with you guys. But I just wanna thank you all so very much for taking the time to watch this video. Those of you who are interested in these kits, thank you so much for purchasing them. I appreciate you so very much. Again, the link to my Etsy shop will be in the description box down below if you're interested in checking them out. And I will see you all in the next video, which is going to be in the new Anchored Collection. It's Friday night. It's the extended weekend. I can't wait to sit down and start filming. I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.